Welcome back to World Drum Club. I'm Kalani Das, your host and teacher. So I was in Asia doing some teaching and I had a couple days off and I reached out to some of my local percussion friends and asked them if there was anybody that could show me some traditional Malay instruments since I was in Kuala Lumpur. And I was so happy to meet Kamrul Hussein, who's an amazing musician. I'll leave his information below this video. Uh, we were able to go to the university where he's a lecturer and a teacher, and we were just in time to drop in right before a gamelan rehearsal. Many of you may be familiar with gamelan from Bali um, uh, and other countries as well. But this is the Malay style. Some of the instruments are traditional Malay. And then after that, we'll be looking at a specific instrument, uh, the kandang, uh, which is a double-headed drum. And he's going to show some of the techniques on that drum. And I do apologize in advance for the background noise, but it was really hot <laughs> where we were, and we had to leave the air conditioning on. So it's a little bit noisy in the background. But I think you'll appreciate uh, Kamarul and his musicianship, and I hope you enjoy learning about the... Um, Malaysian percussion instrument. So watch this and I'll see you at the end of the video. Um, we have a gamelan, it's Malay gamelan, uh, <laughs> where we have uh, uh, this is instrument's uh, name is Kenong. We have five notes. Uh, and then we have originally, we only have three. Mm -hmm. three. And then we have two uh, gong, mm -hmm. agong or suwok. Mm -hmm. Or in Malay we call it ibu and ana. Mm. Ibu and, and ana. Ibu and ana. I mean the ibu is bigger. Big and. Uh, suwok or ana is uh, smaller. Mm. And we have gambang here. So wood gambang. So we have uh, five notes. One, two, three, no four, five, six, and one. Ah, uh, okay. So we have a uh, few octaves. And we have uh, the mong. This is the mong. Mm -hmm. Also, you can see five, so five notes. Yeah. Five and plus octaves. Uh -huh. Okay. Right? Then we have the Malikan, the, the uh, Javanese gendang. Mm. Right? Then we have the uh, saran. 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 Saran baron. This is the middle range. Mm -hmm. And then this is a uh, saran pekin. Small one. Small one. It's also major. Uh, uh, B flat. So the notes will be. Pentatonic. Pentatonic majors here. Mm -hmm. Five notes. Then, so this one is additional slant term. Mm. Then we have bonang. The bonang? The bonang. Bonang, over here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so many. Yeah. So, basically in Italy Gamelan, we have uh, bonang, baron, or in Trenggano version or Pahang, they call it Kromong. Kromong. Mm. So they play alternate. Mm -hmm. This is Octave. Ah, okay. And then they have a higher uh, Bonang. We call it Bonang Pandarus. This is much higher. Mm. Okay. Alright, so in Malay Gamelan traditional, we don't have uh, Bonapanaros. Okay. Only we have seven instruments. Mm. Kromong, we have Penong, Gong, mm -hmm. and uh, Gambang. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we have Saron, two Saron, basically, not three. And then one Gendang. The Gendang. The Gendang. Oh, okay. One of the, the straw. Great. So that's Gamelan. Thank you. So the small one is actually a different name. We call it di different ensemble. We call it Chak Lempo. Mm. Chak Lempo. So we have chromatic. Oh, okay. So yeah. these these can go into chromatic? Yes, yeah, chromatic. Wow. And so this one's chromatic. Oh, okay. So pentatonic. Yeah. This one. Yeah. Diatonic. And chromatic. Wow. And what about these? So this is actually um, a different. Malay Klantanese, different. Malay Klantanese, uh, okay. um, uh, 
uh, percussions. Okay. The, I will I will show you in my room. Okay. So we'll this is uh, this instrument uh, playing in in Mak Yong, Cantonese Mak Yong, hmm. and then shadow puppet play, Wayang Kuli. Okay. So, this is a gendang ibu mm -hmm. in Mak Yong ensemble. Uh, we also use this gendang for Wayang Kuli, Kelantan, mm -hmm. or shadow puppet play. So we have to see the first position is like this. First position is like this. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can use this as your uh, uh, as your tools. So in order for you not hitting here, mm -hmm. so you are hitting in your own. Oh. So for me, advanced, the student have to play more than seven tools. Mm. But for the basic one, any two. You know? And then part. You know? part. But for, for Malay students, for the Malay percussion, Malay drumming, who, uh, which students uh, uh, take uh, major study, they have to learn seven. Is this number one? Seven tones. Seven tones. <laughs> you can feel it. You can feel it. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> every day if you play, that means you are you are not getting fat. Mm -hmm. If you know, you have to <laughs> make sure that you eat properly. Yeah. Exercise well, so you'll be healthy. So the drumming is like a pointing One. you in a healthy direction. Exactly. Because mm. you are burn everything. Mm. You have to ensure that. <laughs> yeah. Of course, you are sitting down. For example, if you play the traditional Cantonese uh, music, we call it Mind Putri. Mind Putri, or my, some of the books uh, write Mind Putri. Mm -hmm. This for me is wrong. Mm. So the correct one is Mind Putri, M A I N T E R I, mm. or Putri, P E T E R I. Mm. That uh, ensemble actually a uh, healing, a uh, healing uh, ensemble for uh, 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 soul. Mm -hmm. So normally we play from uh, 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. until 4 or 5 mm -hmm. 6 p.m. Wow. in the morning. Mm. So you have to play uh, consistently, follow the passions, wow. so that to, to, to give more soul, to give more energy. What would be the? What would you play typically? I play this Short example. Can you provide an example? Oh, this we have uh, we have uh, our number. Oh, okay. So our number that the interlocking, uh, for example, we play faster. I can show you a little bit the okay. interlocking system for Mark. Originally play blue, one skin down, one. But so the interlocking for the Mayo, they play these two and then go and the rubber. Mm. Right?
just now is only half. Okay. Half tempo, okay. Wow. Mm. Very nice. So sometimes the tempo become quite tight, tightly bomb. I don't know if you caught that, but at the very end, he said that the rhythms get interlocking and a lot faster, and it can become almost like bebop. And I think that was a really interesting way to put it. So very exciting. Go now, go check out some Malaysian drumming and enjoy that. Uh, maybe in the future, if I'm back there for another visit, I can bring more uh, of his ensembles. The students were on vacation the particular week I was there, so we didn't get that. But Kamru can play about four or five instruments himself. So, uh, but you can't play all of them. <laughs> Next time we'll get an ensemble. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, again, I'll put the links below to his information. Go check it out, say hello, say thanks if you get a chance. And uh, like and subscribe as always, and visit us at patreon.com slash Kalani to support this channel so I can bring you more amazing percussion from around the world. Thanks for tuning in to World Drum Club and being a supporter. I'll see you in a future video.